To the uninitiated, a major market big time radio show is known for a number of things. A lot of big time radio shows get to the radio station about two minutes before airtime and they wing it for four hours and then they're out the door five minutes after the show ends. The Preston and Steve show, definitely top of their game, top of the ratings for the last nine years. They get here an hour, an hour and a half before the show. They spend an hour on the phone the night before on a conference call, all in prepping for the show so that when they open the mics, it sounds really easy, but they're prepared and it sounds it. It's an awesome show. Most successful big time radio shows develop a massive ego. This wall that they build up around themselves and they don't let anybody in. The Preston and Steve show goes counter to that as well. They open their arms to everybody. They have an open door policy in their studio where people come into their radio show every day and watch what they do. And if you watch the Preston and Steve show on site at events, it's the same thing. They're happy to talk to their listeners, to shake hands and to find out about their listeners' lives. It's pretty amazing to see that they go counter to that ego. The Preston and Steve show is also a very sales friendly morning show. Typically a morning show will say, we don't want sales involved in our world. We don't want to sponsor our favorite features. Preston and Steve get the business side of this and that we have to be good to our advertisers. It's part of the formula and they do it so, so well. And one of the other things that define big time, major market, successful morning shows is their insistent on talent fees where their time is so precious, they won't do anything without a talent fee. The Preston and Steve show over the course of 12 months probably does 100, 150 appearances, many of which they do gratis. They do it for the small town beef and beer. They do it for the policeman's benefit. They do it for a 5K walk. The blood drive is a great example where they give up a precious day off on a weekend and they'll spend eight hours shaking hands and thanking each individual person who donates blood. They do it because it's the right thing to do.